Hello, this is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography, and today I want to start talking about sports again. Fall sports are coming up here real quick. Uh, down here in Virginia, they're going to be starting in about two weeks with practices and scrimmages and stuff like that. And one of the biggest things with sports photography is being able to edit and deliver photos from whatever venue you're at. Now this could be somebody shooting for a newspaper or another media outlet and they got to get those photos out to a editor, you know, just like that real quick. Or this could be somebody shooting a tournament and, you know, you got to get those photos, you know, the, you want to sell them to parents and you want to print them from location. Well, in order to do that, the best way that I know is to have some sort of computer. Laptops are uh, preferable, they're small, they're portable obviously. But the biggest problem with carrying a laptop is one, how do I carry it so it's not going to get broken or messed up or destroyed or damaged or anything like that? Well the solution I've come up with is this case right here in front of me. This is a Pelican 1490 case. It's a briefcase style uh, Pelican case and the nice thing about this is it perfectly holds a laptop. It also holds, which is what I have it set up, and I'm going to show you this in just a minute, it also holds everything else that I would need to import, caption, and transmit photos from location. That includes external hard drives, uh, all the memory card readers, everything like that. So we're going to open this up and take a look at it right now. So as I open this up, we're going to spin this around. First thing that you see right here, this is the laptop. Now it's, uh, the nice thing about the 1490 case is you can get it set up like this. It has, um, I believe this is the laptop tray, I believe. Uh, I'll have everything in the description below. But it's got this real nice laptop tray with the pick and pluck foam and different foam. But it also has this nice uh, cover thing up here with the big pouches and stuff like that. So, like I said, the first thing is the laptop. Now, the laptop is held back down by these Velcro straps, so it's not going to move around. But it opens up just like that. I can tuck this right down the side. Good to go. All I have to do is turn it on, and I can start editing right away. Now, with this, I have two card readers hooked together right here. I have Compact Flash and I have XQD. Now I only have two because I typically shoot with uh, D3, D500, and the new D5 that I just picked up. And they carry, they shoot with Compact Flash, XQD. And yes, I know the D500 has an SD slot. This is the Apple Pro, I believe, the 2015. I had to upgrade, and it's got an SD slot reader right here on the side so I don't need to carry an SD card reader with me. Um, the way I have this set up is, I'm going to pull this out. This is just a little bit of extra foam that was in here. Uh, just an example of what you can do with this. I have a couple compact flash cards just stuck in here. Um, so, if, you know, so I don't lose them when I'm editing. I can just jam them down here. and uh, it's, it's got slits in it so you can easily just stick cards in there. But right here, I have two things plugged in, and we're going to talk about them next. The first thing is a USB, uh, USB plug. That USB plug goes to a hub underneath, and that hub goes to up here, up top I have a wireless mouse. Wireless mouse is awesome to have when you're editing. It also goes to the two USB 3.0 card readers. The last thing it goes to is, right here I have a iPhone charger. This is a Thunderbolt for, I believe, I think I have the iPhone 6. I think that's what I have. Um, this allows me to plug my phone in right there, and I can either charge my phone, or I can create a wireless network, uh, tether the phone to my computer, send the photos out. So we're going to close this down, and I'm going to unplug these two and pull it out and you'll be able to see underneath in this laptop tray it's pick and pluck foam and what I've done with the pick and pluck foam is I've pick and plucked enough out that 
I can put the USB 3.0 hub right here on this side with the two memory card readers, the iPhone cable, and the little dongle for the wireless mouse. And over on this side, I have my external hard drive. And it just fits in here nice and snug. And both those cables come up right here. The other thing that I have in the case, I carry this with me all the time, I use it at home, is I don't always have to use the, uh, the iPhone for tethering. A lot of bigger events, they'll have either wireless or wired connections. Well, unfortunately, this laptop doesn't have a wired connection, so I have a little wireless uh, Thunderbolt to RJ45 Ethernet. Um, adapter it plugs right here into the side hook up an ethernet cable I normally carry the ethernet cable in here but right now it's plugged into my uh, my switch because I normally keep this so it stays synced the other thing that I carry is the power brick power brick is obviously needed um, the nice thing about the this computer it lasts forever on battery um, I've used it for a couple hours on just battery editing photos and stuff like that. It hasn't been a big, big deal. The other thing that I carry is the actual extension, the three-prong extension um, right here. Three-prong extension just in case I need it. And finally, because I carry them in every bag that I have, I have a set of earplugs. Um, this is nice for, especially for larger sporting events, on the field it gets loud, got to protect your hearing. Um, if you can't hear, you know, that's no fun. But that's pretty much it. This is, this is the solution I have, I've come up with. It's nice, it closes down, um, it's waterproof, uh, provides something that everything is just combined. I literally just open it up, turn it on, I can pop in cards get going editing. I don't have to hook anything up. At the end of the day, I don't have to unhook anything. I just shut the case. Good to go. Uh, what's nice about this case, just like any Pelican case, uh, you can lock this case. Now, a lot of the big, like 1510, the, the rollers, uh, you have to have separate locks. This has locks built right into the latches. Uh, I carry the key on my key ring. Uh, the other nice thing about this case is it's a briefcase. So it has on the side here, it has rings where you can either use a shoulder strap or take the shoulder strap off. I have the shoulder strap off right now. Uh, but these rings are permanently on here. I mean, they're not coming off. So what you can use this for is if you're concerned about, you know, your laptop walking off or something like that, if it's in a media room or somewhere, you can get yourself a, uh, a safety chain and use this you can lock your computer using the ring here on the side to a table or wherever uh, to keep it protected and then all you have to do is sh shut the top lock it you know lock it to the table it's not going anywhere unless somebody steals the table as well but that's that's pretty much it if you have any comments questions anything that you want to see uh, go ahead and leave a comment below uh, my all my contact information is in the description below if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and if you want to get the no notifications, hit that bell button. And if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Again, this is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography. Have a good day.